Hello Capricorn viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Whatever the cards want to say. Okay, codependency and addiction, spying. Yeah, someone's codependent on you here. And the energy I got a couple weeks ago was that you have a secret admirer that's basically impatiently waiting for you to give them the green light and make a make the first move. So that doesn't really surprise me that you have someone who's kind of like addicted and kind of obsessed with you that's spying on you. They might be watching your social media. This could actually be a different person than when I get when I the, than the one that I got before. Um, cause I mean, you're in that energy group, like, you know, the Capricorn story that I'm telling, it's consistent, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to channel the same X in each reading. Like this could be a different, like it's your story still, you know, if you've been following me the past few months, this is your, your energy group, your story, but this could be a different person than the person I was picking up two weeks ago. Cause this person, unless the person I was picking up two weeks ago has just gotten more frustrated and more obsessive. Because I'm feeling a stronger energy from this person. Like the energy I got a couple weeks ago was someone that was just kind of shy and sweet and gentle. And, you know, maybe like a coworker or someone that was watching you and maybe they they might want to ask you out, but they don't know how. And they're kind of they're kind of shy and awkward. And maybe they're in like a maybe you guys work together or something. So they might be worried that if you say no, it's it's gonna backfire on them at work. Or maybe they work somewhere like a cafe or somewhere and you go and see them sometimes and they try to flirt with you, but you don't even realize that they're flirting with you. Like you just don't pick up the hints and maybe they're they're worried that, you know, if, if they ask you out that you might say no and, and get them fired or something like that or some kind of awkward energy where it's like they would have to keep seeing you and it would be uncomfortable for them. So, but that person I felt was very shy and sweet kind of like a boy or girl next door type energy. And this person feels more aggressive to me. So I don't know. I mean, you know what your story is. So this is either the same person I channeled a couple weeks ago, but they're getting more frustrated with not having your attention. And so they're coming on a lot stronger now. Or this could be a different ex that I'm channeling. But it's similar energy. But I just get a stronger obsession here. Willpower, strength, confidence, divine intervention, synchronicity, nostalgia, longing. Sorry, let me get these. So this could be someone who's just, they're trying to work up the courage to come forward still. I still feel that energy. And it's like, this person is oblivious though, because I think some of you feel like they know that they have the green light, but they don't actually know because they're bad at picking up hints. Or like, they try to hit on you, but you don't realize they're hitting on you. Because um, this is a continuation of the story I got a couple weeks ago. I just don't know if this is a new person or not, or if it's just your person has gotten more frustrated with this not moving forward. There could be miscommunication between you guys. Maybe like you feel like they're rejecting you, and and they feel like you're rejecting them. Like maybe there's maybe there's like just a difference in communication styles or something, and you guys are on the same page, but you don't realize you're on the same page. Um, so maybe like someone's certain, like someone's got like an insecure perspective and that's kind of distorting things. So it makes it complicated because I feel like they've flirted with you, but you didn't realize they were flirting or vice versa, or it could be both even, but the divine is trying to push them to just make a confident, bold move forward towards you because they've been nostalgic and they've been longing for you. And this could be more than one person. This could be a secret admirer and it could also be an ex that wants to come back around that's starting to think about you. And the divine is trying to get them to step out of this familiar energy of just, you know, dreaming about you and missing you. Because it's like someone's okay, but what's the continuation of this story? What else? What else is happening? Submissive, weak-willed. Yeah, they keep submitting to their 
they keep submitting to hesitation and mixed feelings and their fear, you know, not knowing how you feel. So it's like kind of similar energy than what we were getting before is, you know, they, they're they impatiently waiting for you to give them the green light. And I feel like this, I feel like it's either the same person, but their frustration has grown. Like maybe they're almost like they're, I don't want to say they're angry, but they're like really getting stressed out about this. Like they're really in their head about this. They're really tired of this not going forward. Like they're really getting impatient. Some of them might be trying to play hard to get with you because maybe they kind of put themselves out there and you might not have picked up the hints. Like maybe they flirted with you and you didn't realize they were flirting and they kind of got butt hurt and took it as rejection. So they backed off and tried to play hard to get, but you're like completely oblivious to who this person is. And like, you don't like, you're not, you don't even realize that you rejected them. You know, it's something like that where like maybe something you said or did, like they, they held on to that and felt rejected and you don't even know what it is that you did. But maybe they're playing hard to get and they're frustrating themselves because they're waiting for you to make a move and you're not doing it. And they're, maybe, they, maybe they're just like in that phase where they, they feel like they've been rejected too many times in their life. Or maybe they feel like you're out of their league and they feel shy and insecure around you. So they kind of just feel like, like they just don't know what to say. So it's just, yeah, it's a continuation of the energy we got before. It's just more intense now. And they're, the frustration has built from the last couple of weeks. So you guys talk recently? Did something maybe happen that made them feel more frustrated? Like, is it possible? Did this, does something happen recently where they might have been trying to flirt with you and maybe you didn't realize they were trying to flirt and now they're more frustrated and they're more annoyed with all this and they're kind of like, do you like me or not? Like they're getting to that point where they're going to explode. <laughs> um, where, what are they likely to do in the next couple of weeks? You know, they're trying to come forward. They're, they, I guess it's just strange mixed energy from them. Cause I get the frustration, but I, I, I feel like they want you to come to them. I feel like I feel like this person feels like they've pursued you and they feel like it's your turn to pursue them. But I don't even think that you feel like they've pursued you. I feel like it was almost like in their head, like maybe they fantasized and thought about, like maybe they had these conversations with you in their head about what they should say or do or how they want things to go, but never said a lot of that to you verbally. Or like maybe they dropped subtle hints that you didn't pick up on. But they feel like they put themselves out there. I just don't think that they have put themselves out there. But in their mind, they feel like they put themselves out there. So I don't think they did anything intense enough, though, for you to fully register that they were trying to date you or trying to get to know you or trying to tell you something. Some of them have like a hidden truth they want to tell you, like they want to confess something to you, like maybe like a secret or maybe just opening up. Maybe you know who this is already, but maybe they want to open up and share a deeper part of themselves with you and they're feeling like they don't have the opportunity to share that part of themselves with you. Like maybe you're really busy or you just have a lot going on in your life. And so they feel like, like they want the opportunity to, to get to know you and have those deep conversations, but they feel like the opportunity is just not coming up and they're getting frustrated. So this could be someone like that you are talking to and you guys are flirting, but they're annoyed that it's not moving faster. Like they, they want more of your time and attention and they want this to move at a faster pace than what it's moving at right now. I feel like... I just feel like anxiousness from them. It's, it's, a, really, it's a really strange mixed energy. Because they feel more rejected, but they feel more motivated at the same time. Like, I almost feel like something happened recently with you guys. Or there's something, there's some kind of energy here where it's like they feel like they feel like they put themselves out there for you. And like you were too busy or you didn't notice them or you shut them down. And they're really just getting frustrated because they like, they don't know if you're into them and you're busy. They're kind of, they, they just want answers at this point. They just want to know one way or the other. I think they're almost like, they're not angry at you, but I feel like they're angry at the situation because they're just getting really 
frustrated with like the silence or with the miscommunication with not being able to read to read you not being able to figure you out like I feel like you're very mysterious to them and it turned them on at first but I feel like that mysteriousness is actually frustrating them now because they they can't get a good read on you and this might be someone that's used to being able to read people easily like maybe they're like a loner type like very intelligent very observant and they can usually read people like a book, but they can't read you. And that kind of frustrates them because they have they just don't understand you fully, but they want to get to know you. It's like you're mysterious and enchanting to them. Like you're you're different, you're unique, you know, and they're they're wanting that um that energy in their lives. I just feel like I just feel more more frustration and more impatience than I felt a couple weeks ago. I feel like it's gotten a lot stronger. I feel like something has happened, like where they really feel like you shut them down or they feel like you're really just too busy for them or like you're not noticing them. And they they might just explode. Like they might just, they, they're kind of getting to that point where they kind of almost want to just explode and just say like, hey, are we doing this or not? That frustration is almost overriding their shyness and their fear of um, getting hurt. It's almost like just the anxiety of not knowing and not, it's like, it's, you're so unfamiliar to them. Like they, they can't, they don't have a good grasp on you. It's like, it's like fear of the unknown. Like the fear of the unknown is, is outweighing their fear of getting hurt. So some of them, for because I don't feel a very shy energy from this person. I feel a more like kind of aggressive energy from this person almost. So some of them might just say like, hey, you like me or not? Like, are we doing this? What's what's up? Like they might, that desire to have an answer one way or the other might push them out of their um, fear of uncertainty or fear of getting hurt, I mean. Some of you, for some of you, this could be someone that you're with, but they might have a secret or something that they want to talk to you about or they want more of your time and attention like they want to talk about they what they want to have these deep conversations with you and they feel like they're not happening and they just feel a lot of frustration but like I said for some of you this could be someone this could be an ex coming back around I don't know for sure if this is the, the person from before I think it probably is but for some of you there might be also an ex coming back around what else can we say oh okay I guess that's what we can say Yeah, someone feels like not like you're toxic, but like there's like re like red flags, hidden motives, or like like it's not what they think it is. Like they're almost like they're making assumptions about the connection, and they're isolating themselves and feeling alone, and they need answers. And it could be too for some of you. Maybe maybe someone told them some things about you. Maybe there were some rumors or something, and someone told them some stuff about you, like out of jealousy. They they lied and said that you weren't a good person, or you weren't this, or you weren't that. And this person is kind of confused now because I feel a lot of conflicting energy. Like this person is so confused. And they just want the truth. So I don't know what this truth is. For some of you, for most of you, I think that the truth is like, do you like me or not? Like, do you, are you playing with my emotions? Like, are you, are you into this? Like, what do you, like, make up your mind. And for others, it's, um, for others, I feel like maybe it's like a different kind of secret. Like they're, they're wanting to share a deeper part of themselves with you. But the, the, the energy I get here is that they're wanting something deeper, whether it's a new relationship and they're wanting a, a you know, a, like a, a start. They want an opening to come forward or whether it's, you know, an existing relationship and they're wanting to take it to the next level. There's just something here where there's some kind of miscommunication that needs to be cleared up because they're really wanting to be vulnerable with you. They're really wanting to take it to a deeper level and they feel like they're just going in circles and they're starting to feel kind of isolated and frustrated. There might be some things that they're feeling intuitively that they're not sharing with you out of pride and stubbornness. Like they might feel like you're a soulmate or a twin flame and they might not be telling you that because maybe they feel like I don't know. It's like they're they're afraid of the pain. They're afraid of rejection. So there might be some stuff that they're feeling intuitively about this um, connection that they're they're wanting to take it to another level, but they're like 
they just don't know what it's like pride it's like you know they're it's really it's it's confusing energy because it's like they feel more frustrated and they feel more rejected and at the same time they're kind of isolating more where they're like screw this like i'm tired of this but at the same time i'm kind of feeling like that energy might push some of them to to do something because they're so tired of not knowing either way you know what i mean but they're almost like mad at this connection like they're like annoyed with all this energy like they're not I mean, it's it's romantic, but it's almost like they're not in a romantic energy because they're just like, like they feel like their emotions are being played with. Not necessarily that you're playing with them, but just that like maybe the universe is joking with them, or maybe it's just too good to be true, or maybe maybe you are out of their league. They're just so tired of not knowing. They're tired of being in that energy. They want things to move fast. They want this to go somewhere. This could be someone that like wants a, not for all of you, like you would know if this is your story or not. So I don't want to, I don't want to lead you like, you know, full disclaimer, you are, it's up to you what you do in um, your relationships. I'm not responsible for any of that, but I do feel like for some of you, this could be someone that you're dating that wants to propose marriage or they want to move in together and they're trying to find um, answers. Like they're trying to figure out if that's something that you would want and you're not getting the hints like they might say like oh what where do you see yourself in five years or what does the future look like for you or you know have you had a roommate before what did that feel like there's little things like that and you're just you think that they're just making small talk and they're actually trying to figure out if you would get freaked out if they took the relationship to the next level and they're getting frustrated because they're trying to dig and low key find these answers and they're not finding these answers. And so now they're getting kind of annoyed where it's like they almost just want to be like, are we moving in together or not? Like, is this going somewhere or not? Like, <laughs> you know, and, and you guys are all in different stages. Some of you are not even talking to anybody, but some of you are single right now. But the, the energy I get overall is that someone wants to take the relationship to the next level. They want this relationship to be deeper. They want more of your time and attention. And they're getting jealous of the other things in your life that are taking your time and attention away from them. This person is kind of codependent, to be honest. But the energy overall is, is they want a higher level of commitment. So that could be... You know, you, you're both single and they flirt, but you don't realize they're flirting and they want to ask you out, but they don't know how. That could be you guys are just starting to date and they want to start, you know, going on more dates with you and, and you know, really move more quickly than you're moving. Um, this could be you guys are living together and they want to move in or get married and, um, or sorry, this could be you guys are, are more serious, like you've been together for a year or two and they're wanting to move in or they want to you know maybe you've been together longer and they're wanting to get married and they don't know if you're open to that or not because you haven't really hinted at it um they're basically just the energy i get is is that they want this to be deeper they they want this to move faster than it is and they're they're just wanting more commitment they're wanting more of your time and attention and energy and they're they're low-key digging for answers. They're trying to find the truth about something. I really feel like some of them, someone lied to them about you. Like maybe their friends are jealous or someone's jealous of you and they may, maybe lied to them about you. And that might be confusing them and maybe they don't want to confront you about the lies because they don't want to piss you off. And they also maybe don't want to maybe like if if someone lied about you or something to them maybe they don't want to confront you because they feel like you're probably just going to say oh no I didn't do that so they're trying to like low-key do some digging and figure out if you did what they said that, that you did if that makes sense like say someone said that you have a, a, a bad addiction problem well, they're maybe trying to, to go through your stuff and, and figure out if that's true. Or maybe say someone said that you cheated on them. They don't want to just confront you because they know you're just going to deny it. So they're trying to, you know, um, tell you they're going to be gone all day. And then they, they pop back up at the apartment when you least expect it to see if there's someone there. Like that kind of energy where they're, they're trying to catch you. That's only for a couple of you that they might be doing that. They're, that might be what what they're doing because the energy I get is that someone's digging for truth someone's trying to find the truth about a situation um, whatever that might be 
and they feel like if they have this truth, they can move in one direction or another, and they're getting really frustrated that they're not able to choose the path because they don't have the truth. They don't have all the facts. And this could be regarding a secret. This could be regarding how you feel about them, whatever it is. They feel like they're left in the dark right now and they don't like it. Yeah, for some of them, they feel like you cheated on them. Maybe it's like something about your like your social media posts. This is only for a couple of you, but some of them, they feel like you cheated on, on them. And they're trying to figure out, or they might feel like you're with someone and maybe they don't, they have too much pride to talk to themselves. So they're trying to Facebook creep on you or like social media creep on you and figure it out themselves. Um, yeah, and they feel trapped and they're like, they're getting stressed out. They're getting stressed out, not knowing what to do. Yeah, that's what I get. Well, anyway, if this is your reading and you want um, me to go more in depth into this, just send me an email and I can, my email is in the description box so I can look more in depth into this, you know, who this person is, you know, what the, what the connection is, what's, what the secret is, if they're, if that's applying to you, whatever you want to know, uh, just send me an email and any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly and thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe too if it resonates.